All right, Overson, you brought in all the material. Just the cost of waiting, folks. Interest rates have gone up. They are still very, very good interest rates. Anything below 5% is a fantastic mortgage in fixed rate. Uh, folks, when I got in the business in 99, the fixed rate was eight and a quarter on a 30 year fixed. Uh, I do not recall anybody complaining about that being too high. Um, that just was what it was. Um, since then, we've we've gone down and down and down and down. Uh, the pandemic has driven it um, unnaturally low, uh, and and so now we're you know in the fours, and you know and this is this is a, a good place to be. But what does it mean? What does it mean if you buy today at four percent at today's price, or you wait a year? And and what it will likely be as far as price, and what it will likely be as far as an interest rate. What does that mean? So what I did is I took uh, I took a four hundred thousand dollar house now, and I did a five percent down payment on all these okay. scenarios. Okay, so this is with a, just a five percent down on a standard conventional loan. So four hundred thousand uh, dollar house now, and then at a four point two five interest rate. And so I'm what, getting there. Okay, so once it comes up here, you're going to see the math. So four hundred thousand at four and a quarter. You got principal and interest at eighteen sixty nine. Insurance, I'm estimating at 165 a month. Taxes at 350 a month. PMI is 88. We got a total monthly payment of 2472. Mm-hmm. Basically, that's what it looks like today. Okay, so under the now column. So if you go one year from now, um, we used what six percent appreciation, mm-hmm. um, which is probably still going to be low for the next 12 months. Do you guys? So I just I just heard the stat actually last week. Um, appreciation year over year, last year to now. Mm-hmm. Do you know how much it went up? Uh, uh, do you want us to cheat? 10.6. Or... Is that what it was? 10.6? <laughs> yeah. The Could number be. I heard was 15, but 10.6 is still, I mean, so yeah. we, we're using 6% on this, yep. right? If you look over the last three years, it's been 10% or greater each year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we're still conservative on this side. So a year from now, even on a conservative uh, calculation, you're going to be paying 424 for that house. Versus so the, paying four hundred today. The ten point six is our local market. Was the fifteen percent on a national basis? I think it was or? a national, probably a national basis. Yeah, then. and and yeah, well, boy, it's uh, it's something. So so now you do a four hundred twenty four thousand dollar house, and let's say interest rates stay the same, right? So let's say they stay the same at four and a quarter. Now you're at nineteen eighty one because you got a higher loan balance because the house, the price of the house went up. So nineteen eighty one for principal and interest. Insurance we're going to keep the same at one sixty five. Taxes we keep the same. PMI is up a little bit because your loan amount's a little higher. So now you're at twenty five ninety four. I would I would uh, probably say that insurance on this second one would actually probably be more like one eighty because the cost of rebuild is going to go up that roughly same amount mm-hmm. as inflation. Yeah, that's a good point. That's so, a good but point. but if you buy today and you have that house and you do your yearly thing with your insurance agent, yep, you're probably year over year adjusting that anyways in that's all scenarios. True. That's true. So. So anyway, so you're at twenty five ninety four there. But what happens if rates go up another point and they go to five two five? So now you wait next year. You got four twenty four. You're paying for the house. You're going to be at a five two five interest rate. Now your principal and interest is the twenty two twenty four. Insurance we're going to keep the same. Taxes will keep the same. PMI will keep the same there. So now you're at twenty eight thirty seven. Mm-hmm. That's brutal, right? So that's about three hundred sixty five dollars per month more. About three hundred sixty five dollars per month more. What is that over the 30-year term? $131,000. So that that is the potential cost of waiting on a $400,000 house is $131,000 mm-hmm. um, over the 30-year term of that mortgage. So um, it's a it's a big number, and it's and it's important to understand what it means because we a lot of times we have buyers that we talk to in the given year, and they're not really so much concerned about the interest rate, but you know they they want to. They want to save some more down payment. I want to save another ten grand. I, you know, I want to take this year to save an extra ten grand, so I got more down payment. Well, saving an extra ten grand to put down is going to cost you one hundred and thirty-one thousand dollars in this example. Right. Yeah. You know, so so that is um, that's not a great strategy, and, and we talk to to buyers uh, all the time about that. 